Hey guys, welcome back to Vinceville Customs. We're going to go over a little bit today of what I use to clean out my airbrushing. Now, uh, I use uh, Windex, but I use 30% Windex, 70% water. Uh, I have my little squeeze bottles here, and I'll go over in a bit of what I, why I have squeeze bottles and what I do. But basically, I know everybody's got their own preference of what they like to use to clean their airbrushes. Some people would like to spend the money on the specific... Uh, you know, formulated bottles that you use to clean your airbrush and your paints. Those are expensive. I tried using those back in the day. I got tired of dropping like $15 on a bottle and it'd be gone in like a week. Uh, you know, and basically uh, some people like to use alcohol and water or alcohol and everyone's got their own preference. Now since I use mostly acrylic paints, I found that my little mixture of Windex with water works out pretty good. But I do know if you use straight Windex in your paint, or in your airbrush and there's some of that like little bit of a drop and you didn't get it all dried out and you throw the next paints in the Windex reacts to that and then you start having problems so that's why I never use straight Windex it's always you know a mixture of water and Windex in uh, my airbrush stuff so as you can see in my two bottles I got about 30% of Windex here and about 30% of uh, Windex here so now I'm going to fill these up with water and I'll give you an idea of why I basically have my squeeze bottles and I don't do anything else because you know, a big bottle of this Windex has lasted me for about, you know, almost seven, eight months now, and I'm still not even done with it yet. But even though I blow through a lot of the cleaner and water when I airbrush at night, I still don't, you know, it's very cost effective for me, and it works out great. Uh, like I said, the other guys, you might have your own preferences, you might like specific stuff, but for what I do and the way I work, this is working out great for me, and it might help you guys who are just kind of getting into airbrushing, and you don't want to drop all this money on everything right away, and you want to just kind of dive into airbrushing, but you don't want to buy all the top of the line chemicals and stuff right away. You kind of want to work everything out. So, like I said, 30% Windex, 70% water. So I'm going to go and uh, fill these up with water. We'll come back, and I kind of show you how I work this and how I kind of clean. I don't really have any paint in my brushes now because I've still got the broken thumb, but it gives you an idea of how it works. Uh, it's like a simple video and it just might help some of you guys out that, you know, maybe you want to stop dropping cash on certain liquids and kind of save some money. So we'll be back. All right, guys, so we're back. So this is my little cleaning setup uh, system I got going on. This is what I've been doing for a long time now and I understand that some of you might be like, ah, it's kind of cool, maybe it'll help me out. And other guys might say, you're crazy for going all these extra steps. Uh, you don't have to do that, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we each got our own little system which works for us. So I'm just trying to help out a lot of you new guys that are in a hobby. That are, you know, I understand you're spending money on airbrushing, uh, paints, kits, uh, ventilation system. And you start running into a lot of money. And then when you go buy that 16 bottle of airbrush cleaner... And all of a sudden, you run through that $16 in like a week, and you're like, what the hell happened? You know, it, that's what I was doing in the beginning. I'm like, you know, I can't keep buying all these bottles. So that's what I came up with of using 30% uh, Windex and 70% water, and it's been running good for me. So basically, these are the bottles and everything how I've got, and this is pretty much what I do off camera. Whenever you see my videos of painting and I stop painting, this is kind of how I clean out my airbrushes and keep them going. So this way I don't have to sit there every other uh, day scraping it, cleaning it, putting in a jeweler's kit. I'm always keeping it clean as I'm painting. So it just works for me and this is how I like doing it. So I got this bottle here, which is my squeeze bottle. It's got a very thin uh, tip at top. So when I squeeze, it's got a very hard stream, as you can see. So that works out good. And then I got this one, which is very thick and it comes out very thick. And I got my fan brush. And then I got my little... Uh, I guess you could call it a paint spittoon. And then I got my uh, airbrush uh, piece right here for uh, spraying in the chemicals so you don't get all that foam and uh, you know all that stuff coming back at and hitting you in the fumes. So, say I, I put up a little tiny uh, paint in the bottom. I'm painting. I did it. And then all of a sudden, you know, I want to clean that out. I'll take this bottle here and I'll just squeeze it in there pretty well. It gets a lot of the paint out. I'll run the paint, you know, the cleaner through here a little bit. But instead of sitting here and letting it clean and clean and going through the brush, I'll just dump it in here. And then what I'll do is I'll spray it in again. And I'll spray it through here, get it through there. You know, and just keep going, get it clean. And, you know, it's pretty good. Now, if there's any kind of residue in there, you don't want to have that residue with mixing the next paint. So I take my paper towel, my thumb, get the residue out, make sure it's dry. Throw in the next paint. I'm good to go. Now, if I threw in a lot of paint and the paint got, you know, was a really big project and it's really up here high, 
I'll use this big bottle here, fill it all up, and then what I'll do is I'll take my fan brush and I'll fan brush it in, get it around, dump it. Then what I'll do is I'll do it again, and then I'll start spraying it through here. You know, and then uh, maybe I'll be mixing it while I do this, kind of just, you know, getting it nice and clean, dump it, spray a little bit. Once I start seeing that no color's coming out, and everything's looking good, then I'm pretty much ready to go. Now, this stuff won't really clean like uh, if the paint's been sitting there for a while and it starts getting caked up, you're really not going to, this kind of setup is not going to get it cleaned up right away. You know, you got to, this is kind of a system where as I'm painting, I'm cleaning at the same time, so I don't run into that at the next day, where for some odd reason when I pull this back, it doesn't go forward because it's all caked up and gunked up. It's kind of like, Cleaning as I paint, cleaning as I paint, cleaning as I paint, so this way no ca no colors are mixing with each other that I don't want to mix, and I'm not actually, you know, spending more time cleaning my airbrush with uh, the jewelry kit cleaner or the Windsor Newton uh, airbrush cleaner, you know, this kind of just helps me keep going. So, that's pretty much what I use Windex and water for for cleaning my airbrush, this is my little system. Uh, it may not look like much, but it keeps me uh, going at night so I can keep painting and painting and painting, not worrying about wasting money on airbrush cleaner, and I just get all my colors all out of the airbrush. It's great. It works out for me very well. So that's my little setup. Hopefully it helps you guys out. My main goal is to try to help you new guys who are trying to get into the hobby and you just don't want to, you know, waste the money because it is expensive. So if you can... Keep yourself going, doing the good work without wasting all this money on the really expensive stuff. This is kind of my setup and what I've been doing. So hopefully it helps you guys out. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.